Hello everyone, and today's episode of Pokemon Snap for Nintendo 64 is continued right after the next one. Well, okay, there's an actual day's difference between the episodes for you guys, but... Well, you get the point. Anywho, in today's episode, we shall go to the course we unlocked last time, which is also the second last course of the game. Yup, this is pretty much the second last course already. So yeah, this game really isn't that long, however there is, even after taking, even if we took all the pictures we can get from here at the valley, there's still something we must snap from each and every one of these areas we have unlocked so far, so... This isn't going to be over in a snap just yet. Over in a snap, wow. <sighs> okay. God, I must be really tired if I even find something like that amusing, good lord. Anywho... Today, let's go down to the valley. Yes! So, down to the valley we go. Now, the Pokemons you can get on film here are Monkey, Squirtle, Staryu, Starmie, Gratini, Graveler, Sandslash, Sandshrew, and Geodude. Really, I don't really have that much to say about these Pokemons. These are just the is some of the Pokemon you can get here, or actually these are the only Pokemon you can get here during your first visit, but even they are hard to get because I'm gonna tell you right now, Pokemons in this area are bitch the fight. That's all I'm gonna say about the Pokemons of the Valley, now to the game. Okay, since I'm counting that with my cut-up prevention, I basically explained what kind of Pokemons there is here. I'm not going to go in too much details about them, but I cannot emphasize enough that here it's more than highly likely that you will miss quite a few shots. As you can see here, I'm trying to hit those shells over there. Which isn't too easy to do. No, I guess you don't need to be a Brainiac to realize what Pokémon those would be. be. But still, this is really... I don't know, can you tell it, but we are moving a little bit faster than in the other areas. Oh. I'm at chance through I didn't mean to take a shot of you. There we go, got the shot of the Geodude, that was the one I was going for. Ooh, Shantlash. Let's see. And it dives underground. That's Graveler over there, let's see here. Can I hit it? That I... No, I can't. Dang it. There's Monkey and okay, here we go. This is where this thing goes almost like roller coaster. Here, I do believe around this area we should get something to tell us, unless I'm absolutely wrong. Yes! There it is. Kinda just like the shelter star, you really hard to get a good shot on. You need to be fast, like really fast. And as you can see, it spin spins around you, so if you're fast enough, I guess you could try it to capture a picture of it, but... That's kind of a... Not really, I can't... Oh, damn it. But yeah, 
there's actually a reason why there's three in that row over there. If you can actually get all three in there. Oh, never mind, it came out anyway. Why are they Oh, son of a bitch! Yeah, this is what I mean. Here, you can miss out so ungodly much. And I only got the squirter cell now. Let me see if I can nail this. No, I couldn't. Oh, it was Bester Ball. For God's sake. So, yeah. This is a really, really annoying area to get some pictures. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, thank God, I actually got a good shot of Dratini there. Wow. That's a new one. I usually have trouble getting that shot. But, yeah. You move a heck of a lot more faster, and there's a lot more, s more stuff to shoot. And so here, you need to be really, really fast with your reflexes, so... It's not as easy as the other courses. Definitely not. Anywho, we went through the valley. Hey, and now, let's see how much point we got with our pictures. Of course. Oh yes, by the way, something to emphasize here. That I guess some of you who know about this game beforehand, or knew about it already, may, may have been wondering why haven't I saved any of these pictures I've taken into my Pokemon album. Because as you can see, we have an album mark option there, which basically allows us to choose any of the pictures we've taken into our own personal Pokemon album. So no, basically, I'm leaving that as an end game stuff. I may do it off screen, but while I'm recording every stuff and such, I'm not really bothering with it. Not really gonna bother with it. God. Johnny, try to speak proper English for God's sake. That's a rather interesting expression, I gotta say. Okay, now. Send slash. Actually, I'm not even going to bother with this because, yeah, nowhere good enough. Sky... Wow. Yeah, pretty hard to snap. <laughs> this is my best shot, holy crap. Well, might as well try that one. And... Wow. Yeah, no. No, I'm not even going to try. Squirrel... Too far away, too far away, here's... Nah, not even a good shot of Squirtle. Trazzini, on the other hand... Oh yes, that's a really good shot. Really, really good shot. Okay, I do think these five pictures are enough. So let's see how many points we can get with this. Uh, if we are really lucky, maybe we could even get enough points to unlock the final tool the game, or... You were close! Actually, if you wanna be technical, the one I'm thinking is the second last tool, but... yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, good. Monkey was a failure, Sandshrew... Wonderful! ...was a... Have a much more of a success. Now let's see, Geodude. Okay. Right. Nice. Not the highest point, but still. Now let's see. This star, you. Wait. Oh yeah, crappy points, but at least something. Okay, bullshit. I call bullshit. That is as middle of the fucking frame as it can be. Game. Bullshit. Oh, oh well. A suspicious switch. Once again, a clue what we need to do in the course we were just at. Welcome back. 
So, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, back to the valet, and... Well, we are gonna do something with the Switch Oak Mansions. So, I'll see you there in a second. Yes! Oh, well, my commentary has been in complete bonkers during these last two episodes. Holy crap. Okay, let's see if I can actually nail these... Oh! Oh shit, I got it! I got it! Wow! I actually didn't expect that to happen. I kind of accidentally ex managed to nail that. Wow! Oh, I got a second one. Holy crap! Uh, let's see. Apples. Much better shots of the squirtle. Hell yeah. Much, much better. I'm actually going to keep that in into recording this time. Wow. Okay, I actually managed to get all the three star used. Surprisingly. Let's see here. Ah, damn it! I don't know if was I able to even get the goddamn pictures, but... Now let me see if I can at least nail this one. If you manage to land this chest... Why? Yes! <laughs> I got it! That's sort of a nice little easter egg of this little course, if you, you can call it that. I just always thought that was kind of clever. Shut up, monkey, and now... There we go! New pathway, and what did we unlock this time? Hmm, looks like some sort of a secret cottage. Oh! Professor Oak in a safari suit. Eh. Ah, yes, here we go, the Pokemon signs. These are basically now the last thing we technically need to do on each course. There's a certain elements or landscapes hidden into the courses we have now unlocked, and if you manage to take shut up these elements and landscapes, it will unlock the very last course of the game. Yep, he's basically telling us what I already told you. Just simply snap a picture of a landscape and now don't repeat. Wait. Okay. Now to the valuation. I originally only wanted to show the what happens when you activate that lever, but since I actually lever switch, I meant. But since I actually managed to get surprisingly good shots during this time, I'm actually going to bother with this. I mean, I'm going to actually show the evaluation of this. What is up with my English today? Good lord, man. This one. Here, shut up, Squirtle. We can have a much better show. Let me see. Uh, style, style. Okay, not too much, but I say this is actually our best bet. At the moment. Wow. Oh, there we go. Much better shot. Too good, but still, at least it shows. As for the monkey, wow, so close and yet a failure. Oh well, might as well try it. So now to the valuation. 
Yes. Let's see some wordle. Alrighty. Wonderful. Good, good. Right, much better, much better. Yes! Nailed it this time! Well done! Much, much better. Okay. Wait! No, damn it! Oh well, it was still a good enough shot. For me at least. Okay, much better shot up the monkey. Well done. There we go. And now let's see. Wait. Ah. Now let's see, unless I am absolutely wrong, which I Welcome hope I back. am not. We should get... Oh. Um, okay. Okay, uh, it seems I got the orders confused a bit. Uh, the one tool I was talking about mentioning earlier, you know, I think in the previous part and in a certain episode much, much earlier, I cannot recall when, or by doing the beach episode, uh, that's, yeah, now I remember, that's the very last tool we're going to get, okay. Okay, but first we're going to get this, this sort of a speed boost to our our zero one vehicle. Now, don't repeat. Pokemon report. And now we have Pokemon signs. This is basically... And here you can kind of already see a hint, like what kind of a type of shapes you should look out for. Like, that is obviously a Kingler, Pinsir, Cuffing, Dactrio, this has to be the uh, most obvious one, because there's no way you can miss this. Mewtwo and Cubo. Those are the type of landscapes we need to look for. Look out in the courses we have already pinked. <laughs> Stop stuttering, damn you! Oh my god. Okay. Seems like my commentary is starting to go complete haywire at this point, so... What I'm actually thinking of doing is that this might actually be a pretty good spot to stop. Not only did I cover a certain a newest course, but also this is a pretty good point to stop because we now have a new goal to go with on every course, which also allows us to take a lot more nicer Pokemon pictures. And that way gain more points so we can unlock the very last tool. Which then allows to unlock the very, very last Pokemon pictures we can get in this game. Before going to the final area. So, with that, I thank you guys for watching. And, well, you know the drill. Until next time, see you later.